Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the different factors that affect the strength of the concrete. Some of the factors that affect the strength of the concrete are the first and most important factor is the water to cement ratio. And the maximum water to cement ratio that can achieve the maximum strength in the concrete and can achieve the maximum hydration inside the concrete is the 0.42 water to cement ratio and after increasing the water cement ratio from 0.42 the strength of the concrete decreases so we can say that 0.42 is the optimum water to cement ratio so we can say that the water to cement ratio is inversely proportion to that of the strength of the concrete if you increase the water to cement ratio after 0.42 the strength of the concrete will decrease The strength of the concrete will decrease so we can use this optimum water to cement ratio in order to achieve the higher hydration process inside the concrete and higher strength of the concrete so water to cement ratio has great effect on that of the strength of the concrete the second factor that affects the strength of the concrete is the ingredients of the concrete ingredients of concrete are are sand, are cement, sand, water, and aggregate. These are the four main ingredients of concrete. So the quality of all these ingredients affect the strength of the concrete. We should use high fineness of the concrete in order to have high strength of the concrete. Also, we can use the high fineness of the sand in order to have high strength of the concrete. Also, the quality of water can affect the strength of the concrete. Similarly, the shape and size of the aggregate can affect the strength of the concrete. So, the rounded aggregate can decrease the strength of the concrete, while angular or cubical aggregate shape can increase the strength of the concrete. So, these four main ingredients of the concrete can strongly affect the strength of the concrete. So, each of these ingredients of the concrete should be individually designed in order to achieve the desired strength of the concrete. The third factor that affects the strength of the concrete is the curing of concrete. Curing of concrete. Curing of concrete means that when we place the concrete on the site, then after one day or two days, we put the water on the surface of the concrete in order to have desired amount of water on the surface of the concrete to achieve the maximum hydration inside the concrete. And curing of concrete is very really important in order to achieve the higher strength of the concrete. So the curing of concrete prevent the plastic shrinkage inside the concrete and also it provides sufficient water to the concrete for completing the hydration process. The general range for the concrete for the curing of concrete is 7 to 14 days when we, when we are using the ordinary Portland cement. So the general range will be 7 to 14 days for curing. The fourth factor that affects the strength of the concrete is the shape of the shape of the aggregate. As I discussed before, that shape of aggregate can strongly affect the strength of the concrete. The shape of the aggregate can be angular, it can be cubical or it can be rounded, it can be also elongated or it can be flaky. There are various shapes of the aggregate that can be used in concrete. The angular shape can provide the higher strength of the concrete, higher strength, because it provides the space for interlocking the cement paste and the aggregate. So it can provide the higher strength for the concrete. While rounded aggregate can provide no interlocking space for the cement and aggregate, so that's why it can provide the lower strength. The fifth factor that affects the strength of the concrete is the size of the aggregate. Size of aggregate. So the size of aggregate plays an important role in affecting the strength of the concrete. The larger size of aggregate lowers the strength of the concrete, while the smaller size of the aggregate increases the strength of the concrete because the higher size of the concrete makes the concrete is a heterogeneous material and that's why it decreases the strength of the concrete. So we mostly prefer the 
smaller size of the aggregate smaller size of the aggregate because the larger size of the aggregate makes the concrete is a heterogeneous material and thus it decreases the strength of the concrete the sixth factor that affect the strength of the concrete is the age of the concrete now age of concrete is directly related to the hydration of concrete with the time the concrete increases the strength and we can say that up to the 28 days concrete achieves its maximum strength or we can say 99.9 percent .9 it achieves its strength in 28 days while concrete can never achieve 100 percent strength so with the time it increases the strength so age is a factor that increases the strength of the concrete in up to 28 days we can say that concrete can achieve the maximum strength the seventh factor that affects the strength of the concrete is the rate of loading now the rate of loading means that how much quickly the load is applied on the structure made of the concrete so if you apply the load quickly on the structure so it will increase the strength of the concrete so it means the rate of loading is directly proportion to that of the strength of the concrete if increase the rate of loading on the structure made of concrete so the concrete strength will also increase so they are directly proportional to one another if increase this rate of loading the strength of the concrete will also increase hope you guys understand the different factors that affect the strength of the concrete and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video